anyway, Erickson had some, some great ways of establishing rapport with people, and that was why Bandler and Grinder modeled him. And uh, so anyway, there's an induction that he used to use called the uh, ambiguous touch induction. And um, we'll on. Catherine, would you come up for this one, please? <laughs> okay, if you'd stand over here, please. All right, so um, the thing is with, with Erickson, though, it, there came a point where people would not shake hands with the man because he, <laughs> he would do things like this. So, um, so anyway, so I'd, he would just start, you know, hey, how are you doing? And, and he'd talk to him, and, and as he withdrew his hand, there we go, let me see how this one, yeah, that's good. Let's kind of get up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. All right. Nope. Nope. You know, the other one, okay, let me show you. Hey. Look at the hand. Take a deep breath and close your eyes down and relax. I've got you. You're doing great. And your hand may stay there. Then again, it may slowly, easily, and gently, as I steady you, begin to move downward. And I don't know if it'll start moving downward in a few seconds or if it'll start moving downward now. But as it does slowly move down, you allow yourself to relax more and more. That's right. And you can feel the weight of your hand and the weight of your arm as it slowly begins to get heavier. That's right. And as it starts moving, I've got you. And as it starts moving, you relax even more. That's right. And the lower it goes, deeper into hypnosis you go. That's right. Feeling wonderful. And the lower your arm goes, that's right, the better you feel with each channel exhale. That's right. And as the arm slowly lowers, you go deeper. That's right. And deeper into hypnosis. Feeling wonderful in every way. The lower it goes, the better you feel. That's right. I've got you. And you stand in perfect balance. And the better you feel, the deeper into hypnosis you go. That's right. And the fact that your arm is continuing to move means that you're continuing to drop into what you know is a wonderful, deep hypnotic trance. Able to stand in perfect balance. And even though you're standing in perfect balance, your legs supporting you beautifully. As the arm goes down, the trance deepens, getting deep and deeper. I don't know if it's the deepest that you've ever been in trance. I don't know if it'll be deeper than you ever thought you could go into trance. But as that arm slowly goes down, you allow yourself to go deeper and deeper into that wonderful trancey space. That's right. Now, as your arm continues to go down, I'm going to talk to the class, and the sound of my voice talking to the class will take you deeper deeper relax. Good. And you don't have to really listen to me. Your subconscious mind will listen and absorb all of this material. Now, initially I was going to show you the ambiguous touch induction, but I have occasionally had people where, where I tried that and um, I didn't get the catalepsy that I normally get. Usually with a really, it's, it's, it's often a really good subject that, that I don't get the, the sufficient catalepsy. So she would be safe, would have been safe against Milton Erickson. <laughs> but this, this particular induction, some people have attributed it to Erickson, and other people have attributed, that's right, attributed it to Richard Bandler, so that he modeled this thing after Erickson. So it's kind of, it's kind of lost in antiquity as to whether or not this was Erickson, but it's, it's similar to the stuff that he did. And what you do is, 